Hello and welcome back everyone. I hope you had relaxing weekend. This is your host Harshit Sinha once again continuing our series on investing in ESG. Today we will discussing an intriguing topic that is on the progress of the ESG investments for asset under management in India. This version is more quantifiable. It maintain the key information while improving the clarity and flow. The concept of responsible investing is not entirely new to India. Traditionally, Indian philosophy emphasizes the importance of harmony with nature and ethical conduct in business. However, structured ESG investing began gaining prominence in the early 2000s. The factors involved is due to growing recognition among the investors about the importance of sustainability and ethical governance. Besides regulatory push done by the Security and Exchange Board of India and Ministry of Corporate Affairs made mandatory sustainability reporting for listed company pushing firm to adopt better ESG practice. Further, global investment trends and the rise of the international ESG standards have influenced Indian investors. Global funds and institutional investors are increasingly incorporating ESG criteria into their investment processes and creating Indian firm to align with these standards. Besides, empirical evidence suggests that ESG focused companies often outperform their peer in the long term and exhibit low risk. This attracted investors looking for sustainable returns through performance evaluation and risk management. Thus today, India's financial landscape is undergoing a transformative shift as environmental, social and governance investing gaining traction. Before I proceed, let me remind the listener that in my previous presentation I have narrated the importance of different investment approaches. Now we shall discuss monetary contribution made by each of these investment approaches in detail. It's important to note that the exit figure can fluctuate based on the market conditions and investors behavior. The next slide onward most rely upon the estimate made by the research agency and individuals based on the market condition, regulatory changes and economic factors. We have also discussed the limitation of the availability of the desired data as one of the frequent difficulty encountered that once source that is a web reference is identified and within fortnight it becomes invalid and the URL is removed. Thus we insist the viewers that to know the exact status refer the latest report of the links highlighted in the reference. Now we shall discuss about the global ESG investment. The global scenario of ESG investment under the principle of responsible investment that is PRI has seen significant growth and evolution in the recent years. The first is growing adoption of PRI. The United Nations supported principle of responsible investment has been significantly growth in both the number of signatories and the total asset under management since its inception in 2006. Here an overview of the projection and growth. The growth since inception when the PRI was launched in 2006, it had 63 signatories representing 6.5 trillion in asset under management. The growth since then have been exponentially and has of 2023 the PRI has over 5,000 signatories representing more than 121 trillion USD in asset under management. Let us see the future projections. As per Bloomberg Intelligence Global ESG assets are on track to exceed 53 trillion USD by 2025, representing more than a third of the 140.5 trillion USD in projected total asset under management. This growth is driven by increasing awareness of the climate change, social inequalities and the corporate governance issues. Investors, particularly millennial and Gen Z are increasingly aligned 
their investment with their values the pwc estimates that esg assets growth in europe alone could reach around 7.6 trillion swiss francs by 2025 accounting for between 41% and 57% of the total mutual fund assets in europe by 2025 further according to the mckinsey and the global sustainable investment alliance while europe accounts for the half of the global esg assets the us has the strongest expansion this year and may dominate the category starting in 2022 the next wave of growth could come from asia particularly japan exclusionary screening based on the religious values and other criteria makes up the biggest chunk of esg investing at about 20 trillion global in 2018 the next is related to the etf set for 1 trillion esg organic growth ESG exchange trade funds cumulative inflow should surplus 135 billion dollars before 2021 and we expect growth to accelerate with 1 trillion possibly entering such ETF globally in the next 5 years of the 203 billion USD in 2020 ESG fund inflow through 3 quarters about 49 billion or 24% went into the ETF the pace isn't slowing with the investment in the e- ESG ETFs expanding for 27 straight week and the number in flow reaching a monthly record of 13 billion ETF ESG assets should surpasses around 190 billion dollars by year end and the account for the almost 13% of the global etf assets growth though europe has dominated esg etf us products may bring the next wave of organic expansion as of september the us esg etf market and risen over 380% in 2020 and captured 90% of the smart beta flow Now we shall discuss about rapid expansion of ESG funds in India. ESG investing has been explosive growth in India over the past few years, reflecting a global shift towards a sustainable and responsible investment practice. This trend has been particularly evident in rapid expansion of ESG funds in the country. In 2017, ESG fund in India managed approximately 1 billion in assets this modest figure represented the early stage of esg awareness in indian market with only a handful of funds incorporating these principles into their investment strategies however by 2020 the landscape has dramatically changed esg fund in india reached a impressive 6 billion in assets under management The six-fold increase is just three years show cost the strong and the growing investors demand for sustainable investment option. The surge was driven by increasing awareness of environmental and social issues as well as recognition of the potentially financial benefits of ESG focused investing. The momentum continued to accelerate and by 2022 ESG fund assets in India had surged to over 20 billion this remarkable growth more than tripling in size in just 2 years reflects the mainstream adoption of esg principles in indian investment community factors contributing to this rapid expansion includes heightened climate change concern growing corporate transparency and the positive performance of many esg funds during the market volatility Thus, the total Indian financial landscape undergone a transformative shift as ESG investing gained momentum. This evolution is reflected in growing numbers of ESG-focused funds and increasing asset under management in this category. As of 
the asset under management of eag funds in india has surpassed 18000 crores indian rupees approximately it is 2.2 billion usd show causing rapid growth from just 2000 rupees crore in 2000 19 the rapid expansion of eag funds in india not only reflects changing investor preference but also has the potential to drive positive change in corporate behavior let us now discuss india eag investment landscape in more deep amid of global challenges such as climate change inflation covid-19 stimulus measures armed and trade conflicts and supply chain disruption india has demonstrated remarkable economic resilience the country's esg investment landscape has evolved significantly in the recent years between 2012 and 20 india introduced six esg funds current data shows that the country now hosts 11 sustainable investment funds This includes eight actively managed funds, one passive funds that is ETF and funds of funds, and two global feeder funds. Actively managed funds dominate this sector, representing 96% of the total asset under management. The top five funds accounts for 93% of the assets, with the largest funds along constituting 56% of the total asset under management. Regulatory guidelines require asset management companies to allocate at least 80% of the asset under management in equity or equity related instrument under this category. ESG scheme must invest a minimum of 65% of their asset under management in companies that engage in comprehensive business responsibility and sustainability reporting that is brsr and provide assurance on brsr core disclosure additionally mutual fund must ensure that these schemes are differ in strategies and asset allocation the growth of esg fund in india has been substantial from 331.4 million usd that is around 2747.36 crore rupees as of january 31 2020 the total asset under management has expanded to 1176.6 usd that is 9753 9753 crore rupees by march 3 2024 a more than threefold increase in approximately 4 years the sbi mangnam equity esg funds leads this growth holding to 660.2 million usd which is equivalent to rupees 5472 crores in asset under management to systematically track the increasing interest and capital inflow in the esg complaints indian companies stock exchange have introduced specific indices currently there are four distinct indices the s&p bsc 100 esg index nifty 100 esg index nifty 100 enhanced esg index and nifty 100 esg sector leaders index from this slide onwards we will discuss sustainable investment funds for asset under management by various methods the first is related to mutual funds in recent years the asset under management of the indian mutual funds industry has been consistently growing crossing several trillion rupees for instance as of early 2024 the asset under management was reported to be well over 40 trillion rupees this figure represents substantial portion of india's total financial assets under management as of june 30 2024 the total asset under management of indian mutual fund industry stood to rupees 61.16 trillion approximately 764 billion usd this translates 
to mutual funds being a major contributor to India's asset under management landscape. While a precise figure for only mutual funds isn't readily available, there is a dominance within the industry suggests a significant portion of the total asset under management comes from them. The Indian mutual funds industry has witnessed substantial growth in recent years. The asset under management increased to 9.75 trillion in 2014 to 61.16 trillion in 2024, signifying a more than six-fold increase in a decade. It should also be noted that significant portion of asset under management comes from retail investors. This trend highlights the growing awareness and participation of individual investors in the Indian stock market through mutual funds. Overall, if we see a specific figure for not only mutual fund contribution to asset under management isn't readily available, there is a dominant position and significant growth suggests that they play a crucial role in managing assets in India. Lastly, it would be advisable to refer to the latest report from the Association of Mutual Funds in India or uh, other authoritative financial resources. The second is related to the insurance sector. In recent years, the total asset under management of Indian insurance sector has been steadily growing, reaching several trillion of rupees. For context, as early 2024, the asset under management of the life insurance sector alone was reported to be over 50 trillion rupees. The general insurance sector, while smaller, also contributes significantly with asset under management in the range of several trillion rupees. Life insurance companies, particularly the state-owned life insurance corporation of India, that is LIC, manages substantial portion of the asset under management. LIC alone has historically accounted for a significant share of the insurance sector's total asset under management. As of March 2023, the Indian life insurance industry boosted an asset under management of approximately rupees 55 lakh crore, that is equivalent to 687.5 billion US dollar. While the life insurance asset under management provide a good indicator it doesn't encompass the entire insurance sector. However, it should be noted that non-life insurance like health, motor, etc. also contributes to the overall asset under management, but readily available data might be limited. Overall, it seems an exit Indian figure, that is Indian rupees figure, for the insurance sector contribution to asset under management is elusive. The life insurance industry alone manages a substantial asset under management of 55 lakh crores. Non-life insurance likely contributes further solidify the insurance sector's significant role in India's financial landscape. It should be noted that the insurance company typically manage their asset under management internally, making it challenging to obtain a consolidated figure for their entire sector. Lastly, it would be advisable to refer latest report from Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India or other authority financial resources. Now we shall discuss about another matter related to sustainable investment funds is alternative investment funds. The asset under management for alternative investment funds in India has shown a remarkable growth since the introduction of regulation. As of September 2023, the total asset under management of alternative investment fund in India stood at approximately 10.97 trillion rupees which is equivalent to 95.6 billion US dollar. AIF has made substantial contribution to India's overall asset under management. As of 2023, they account for about 5 to 6% of total asset under management in India's asset management industries. This percentage, while still 
small compared to the traditional mutual fund represents a growing share and indicates the increasing importance of alternative investments in India's financial ecosystem. Precise figure of alternative investment fund to asset under management in India can vary depending upon the data source and reporting period. However, as of March 2023, the industry size was estimated to be around 8.3 trillion rupees which is equivalent to 103.7 billion US dollar. Despite not having the largest current of asset under management, the alternative investment funds are witnessing impressive growth rates. Industry estimates suggest about 24% compound annual rate that is CAGR in the recent years. It is important to note that alternative investment fund encompasses various categories with different investment strategy. Category 2 of alternative investment fund focused on the private equity and venture capital contribute a significant portion of the total asset under management. While the an exit Indian rupees figure for alternative investment fund, total asset under management might vary slightly estimates suggest a significant contribution of around 8.3 trillion rupees. It should be noted that alternative investment funds typically manage their asset under management internally making it challenging to obtain a consolidated figure for entire sectors. It would be advisable to refer to the latest report from the alternative investment funds from the Ministry of Finance of India or other authoritative financial sources. Next is related to portfolio management services. The contribution of the portfolio to India's overall asset under management has been substantial and the growing as for September 2023. The total asset under management for portfolio management service that is PMS industry in India stood at approximately 6.35 lakh crore rupees which is equivalent to about 76 billion US dollar. This figure represents a significant portion of the India's total asset under management across various investment vehicles. The PMS sector has shown a robust growth over the years. For instance, between 2020 to 2023, despite global economic and economic challenges, the PMS asset under management in India grew by 50%. This growth outpaced many other investment categories, highlighting the increasing preference for customized portfolio management among the Indian investors. Portfolio management services contribute a growing but still relatively niche portion to India's asset under management. Precisely determining industries asset under management is a challenging due to various factors such as limited data availability unlike mutual funds with readily available asset under management figures from association of mutual funds in india that is amfi the pms data isn't readily consolidated at the industrial level secondly the sebi data focuses or it collects data from the pms firm but this data might not capture the entire industry as some smaller or new firms might not be registered. So let us see the future growth estimate. Despite of these challenges, estimates suggest that PMS industries asset under management in India is growing steadily. As of June 2024, figure ranges from 24.12 lakh crore rupees to around 28.50 lakh crore approximately 300 billion to 356 billion US dollar. Indian exports project a growth rate of 20 to 25 percent over next three to five years. This growth is attributed to factors like rising HNWI population, increasing awareness of, of PMS benefits and evolving regulatory landscape that fosters trust and innovation. Overall, quantifying the exit contribution requires further industries wide data consolidation. 
portfolio management services are growing segment of india's asset under management landscape catering to high net worth individual with the personalized investment strategies the pms industries is expected to see significant growth in coming years lastly it would be advisable to refs report from the portfolio management services from the security and exchange board of india that is sebi or other authoritative financial resources now we shall discuss the contribution made by the national pension system that is nps the nps scheme launched by the indian government in 2004 has contribution to india's overall asset under management has been substantially and growing rapidly as of december 2023 the total asset under management for nps stood at approximately 9.76 lakh crore rupees that is equivalent to 117 billion us dollar this figure represent a significant portion of india's pension related asset under management and has shown impressive growth over the years the growth trajectory of nps asset under management has been remarkable for instance between 2018 to 2023 the nps asset under management more than tripled showcasing the schemes increasing adoptions and the power of compounding returns as of december 31st 2023 the total corpus of various scheme under nps and atal pension yojana reached to 10.9 lakhs crore approximately 136.25 billion dollars besides under pension scheme such as nps and apy have added 97 lakh new subscriber in 2023 The total corpus of various scheme under NPS and APY has increased to rupees 10.9 lakh crores 27.9% surge as of December 31st 2023 of these 1.5 lakh crore were from the corporate employees rupees 5.4 lakh crore to the state government and rupees 3.1 to the central government employees the mps and apy scheme are projected for further growth this growth rated outpaced many other investment categories in india highlighting the scheme effectiveness in attracting long term saving for their retirement with a combined corpus of rupees 10.9 lakh crores as of december 2023 and promising growth prospect The NPS is the key player in securing financial security for millions of Indian upon retirement. Lastly, it would be advisable to refer to the latest report from National Pension Scheme from Pension Fund Regulatory and Development Authority of India or other authoritative financial source. The other method is about the real estate investment. Introduced in 2014, REITs allow investors to participate in income generating real estate portfolio without directly owning or managing properties. The contribution of REITs to Indian overall asset under management have been growing steadily since their inception. As of early 2024, the total asset under management of listed REITs in india stood at approximately rupees 2.5 lakh crore that is equivalent to about 30 billion us dollar while this figure might seems modest compared to the more established reits market globally it represents significant growth in relative short period and demonstrate the increasing investors confidence in asset class determining the exit asset under management for reits requires a caution there is no single publicly available source that track the total asset under management for all listed reits in india 
However, we can estimate their contribution by looking at market capitalization data. As of June 30th, 2024, the combined market capitalism of all listed REITs in India stands at approximately 58,000 crore rupees, which is equivalent to around 7.25 billion US dollar. Market capitalism is not the same as of asset under management. It represents the total market value of all outstanding shares of REITs. To estimate asset under management, we would typically multiply the market capitalism by a factor that reflects the average price to book ratio to REITs. However, this method provides only an approximation. Real estate investment trust holds considerable promises for expanding India's asset under management landscape. Though relatively young, the sector is witnessing steadily growth and is poised to become a more prominent layer in the year to come. While the current asset under management estimate may seem modest compared to the other asset classes, the Indian REITs market is on the growth trajectory. Now we shall discuss about the contribution made by Infrastructure Investment Trust. Introduced in 2014, Infrastructure Investment Trust offers an alternative functioning avenue for infrastructure project in India. The contribution of Infrastructure Investment Trust to India's overall asset under management has been growing steadily since their introduction. As of early 2024, the total asset under management of listed infrastructure investment trusts in India stood at approximately 1.8 lakh crore rupees, which is equivalent to about 21.5 billion US dollar. While these figures may seem modest compared to some of other investment categories, it represents significant growth in a relative short period and demonstrates the increasing investors' interest in this assets class. The growth trajectory of infrastructure investment trust in India for asset under management has been impressive. Since the listing of the first infrastructure investment trust in 2017, the sector has been consistent expansion with new listing and increasing market capitalism. The growth has outpaced many traditional infrastructure financial avenue, highlighting the attractiveness of infrastructure investment trust model in mobilizing capital for infrastructure development. In 2014, it allowed investors to participate in a diversified portfolio of infrastructure asset and receive stable returns. While infrastructure investment trusts are still a relatively young asset class, their contribution to asset under management is steadily increasing. As of June 30, 2024, the combined asset under management of listed infrastructure investment trust in India is estimated to be around 1.2 lakh crore rupees which is equivalent to 15 billion US dollar. It is important to note that obtaining the precise asset under management figure for infrastructure investment trust can be challenging unlike mutual funds with readily available data from Association of Mutual Funds of India there is no single public available source that track the total asset under management for listed infrastructure investment trust. The next is related to sovereign wealth funds. The contribution of SWF that is sovereign wealth funds to India's overall asset under management has been growing steadily in recent years. While precise figure of SWS investment in India are not only publicly disclosed Estimates suggest that as of early 2024, the total asset under management of foreign SWF in India stood approximately 5.5 lakh crore rupees, which is equivalent to about 66 billion US dollar. This figure represents 
a significant portion of foreign institutional investments in India and has shown impressive growth over the past decade. The growth trajectory of SWF investments in India has been notable. For instance, between 2015 and 2023, SWF investment in India more than doubled outpacing many other sources of foreign investment. This growth has been driven by factors such as Indian economic reform, improving ease of doing business and country's robust growth prospects. The status of uh, indirect contribution is that the SFW is from other countries do not invest in India. While well, data on the exit asset under management contribution isn't readily available, reports suggest a significant increase in the recent year. Analysis by Sovent Fund Funds Institute, that is SWFI, in 2022 shows a rise in direct investment by SWF in India to about 6.714 billion US dollar compared to 4.3 billion US dollar in 2021. So looking up the future, the increased transparency, regulatory reforms and stable economic environment could further incentivize SWF, that is Sovereign Wealth Fund, to invest in India, potentially increasing their contribution to asset under management landscape. Now we shall discuss about the contribution made by exchange trade funds that is ETF. The contribution of ETFs to India's overall asset under management have been growing rapidly. As of early 2024, the total asset under management of ETFs in India stood at approximately 5.2 lakh crore rupees which is equivalent to 62.5 billion US dollars. This figure represents a significant portion of the country's mutual funds asset under management and has shown impressive growth over the past few years. The growth trajectory of ETF asset under management in India has been remarkably. Between 2029 and 2023, the asset under management of ETF more than tripled, outpacing the growth of many traditional investment products. This rapid expansion has been driven by factors such as increased investor awareness, the launch of new and innovative ETF products, and the growing participation of institutional investors. The ETF have witnessed a rapid rise in the asset under management in recent years. According to the Association of Mutual Funds in India, that is AMFI, on February 29, 2024, the asset under management of ETF, excluding the gold ETF, grew to rupees 6.4 trillion, rupees 2.73 trillion three years ago. While the exit percentage shares of ETFs in the total asset under management isn't readily available from AMFI, a rough estimate comes from the government disinvestment in public sector enterprises that is PSE through ETFs such as CPSE ETF and Bharat 22 ETF have provided a major flip to investor awareness and asset under management growth. The challenge of the growth is slowdown. In 2023, recent data suggests a slowdown in the ETF asset under management growth compared to overall mutual funds. This highlights needs to continue efforts to educate investors on the benefits of ETF. The next is we are talking about equity investments. The contribution of equity investment to India overall asset under management has been substantially growing. As of early 2024, the total asset under management of equity-oriented mutual funds in India stood at approximately 20 lakh crore rupees, 
which is equivalent to about 240 billion US dollar. This figure represents a significant portion of the country's mutual funds asset under management. Additionally, the market capitalization of companies listed on Indian Stock Exchange, which represent the total value of the direct equity investments, exceed in rupees 350 lakhs crore, which is equivalent to about 4.2 trillion US dollar. The growth trajectory of equity investment in India has been impressive. Between 2019 and 2023, the asset under management of equity mutual funds nearly doubled while the market capitalization of listed company grew by 70%. This growth has been driven by factors such as increased retail participation, strong corporate earnings, and bullish long-term outlook on the Indian economy. Equity investment holds the lion's share of asset under management within the Indian mutual fund industry. Data from Association of Mutual Fund in India, that is AMFI, shows that as of June 2024, equity asset under management stood at approximately rupees 25 lakh crore. Equity asset has witnessed a remarkable growth in recent years according to the analysis made by ET Mutual Funds in February 2024. Equity asset under management surged by a whooping 46% year on year to Rs 23.12 lakh crores. Certainly, the net asset under asset management for the equity category in India was 22.5 lakh crore rupees in January, according to AMFI data. Now let us understand the status of fixed income investment. The contribution of fixed income investments to India's overall asset under management is substantial. As of early 2024, the total asset under management of fixed income investment of India is estimated to be around Rs 170 lakh crore which is approximately 2.04 trillion US dollar. This figure includes bank deposits approximately of 140 lakh crores, government security approximately around 80 lakh rupees crore, corporate bonds approximately about rupees 40 lakh crore and money market instrument roughly around rupees 10 lakh crores. Note that there is some overlap in these figures due to institutional holding across categories the fixed income sector in India has shown steady growth over the years. Between 2019 and 2023, the overall fixed income asset under management grew by about 35 to 40 percent. This growth has been driven by factors such as increasing financialization of saving, regulatory reforms, promoting bond markets, developments and a general preference for safer investment option among a large section of Indian investors. We have only estimated percentage while a definite percentage isn't readily available from AMFI data. Estimates from industry experts and analysis based on the historical data suggest fixed income contributes roughly 40 to 50 percent of the total asset under management. Fixed income investment offer investors stability and regular income through interest payment. This makes them attractive for risk averse investors and those seeking income generation. Example for fixed income instrument include fixed deposit bonds and debt mutual funds. Lastly, it would be advisable to refer to the latest report on fixed income investment by Association of Mutual Funds in India and Security and Exchange Board of India that is SEBI or other authoritative financial sources. The next is related to the everybody's interest is about gold and 
precious metal gold bond or we can say sorbent uh, gold bond sgb had been introduced in 2015 sgb are government security denominated in grams of gold offering an alternative to holdings physical gold they provide investor with the returns of gold price appreciation uh, appreciation along with the fixed interest making them an attractive option for others seeking exposure to gold without the storage and security concern of physical gold the contribution of the gold and the precious metal to india's asset under management has been substantial and growing as of early 2024 the total asset under management related to gold and the precious metal in india is estimated to be around 25 lakh crore rupees which is equivalent to 300 billion us dollar this figure includes physical gold holding approximately to 20 lakh crore rupees gold etf and funds around rupees 2.5 lakh crore sovereign gold bonds around rupees 1.5 lakh crore and other precious metal and related investment roughly rupees 1 lakh crore focusing specifically on the sovereign gold bonds their contribution to india's asset under management has been growing rapidly since their introduction sgb have gained a popularity among investors looking for more efficient way to invest in gold as of early 2024 the total value of outstanding sgb stocks at an approximately rupees 1.5 lakh crore which is equivalent to 18 billion us dollar representing a significant portion of paper gold investment in india today investors have various option for gold exposure beyond physical gold these includes gold etf exchange traded funds it means sovereign gold bonds sgbs and the gold mutual funds quantifying the exact asset under management contribution of gold and the precious metal is a challenging a significant portion of gold holding exists outside the formal financial system making data collection very very difficult despite this limitation industries estimates suggest gold and precious metal contribute somewhere between 5 to 10% of the total asset under management in the indian mutual fund industry the price of gold is significant factor influencing the asset under management rising gold prices can incentivize investments while falling price might lead to a decrease in asset under management beside economic uncertainty or inflationary pressure can drive investors towards the gold as a safe haven assets potentially increasing the asset under management overall it seems that the gold and the precious metal hold a special place in indian investment landscape when the exit asset under management contribution is challenging to quantify due to significant portion held outside the formal system estimates suggest it's a notable segment the cultural significance and the potential for hedging against the inflation make gold and precious metal a valuable asset class for many indian investors due to the limitation of readily available asset under management data by asset class with the amfi that is association of mutual funds of india the percentage contribution of gold and the precious metal is an estimates based on the industry reports and experts analysis lastly it would be advisable to refer to the latest reports on the gold investment by association of mutual funds in india and industrial or the financial reports of other authoritative financial sources though in india cryptocurrency is banned but still there are various way of investing it and people are doing it so let us look the status of cryptocurrency investments in india contribution to asset under management due to 
the regulatory uncertainty and the decentralized nature of cryptocurrency, it is challenging to accurately quantify their contribution to India asset under management. However, based on the estimates from the cryptocurrency exchange and industry report as of early 2024, the total value of cryptocurrency holding by Indian investor is estimated to be in the range of rupees 6 to 8 lakh crore, which is approximately 70 to 95 billion US dollar. It is important to note that this figure is highly volatile due to the nature of cryptocurrency market and the regulated environment. Moreover, a significant portion of these holdings may be with the offshore exchange or in the private wallets making precise measurement difficult. The growth trajectory of cryptocurrency investments in India has been marked by a sharp fluctuation. Between 2020 and 2022, there was the surge in the cryptocurrency adoption in India with millions of new users joining cryptocurrency exchange. However, the regulatory concern and the global market volatility have led to period of significant pullback as well. Cryptocurrency investment are a relatively new asset class in India and their contribution to asset under management remains limited compared to the traditional asset classes. However, there is a growing interest and a potential for future growth. Despite of the regulatory holders, the growing interest and the potentially at higher investor participation, India boasts a significant number of cryptocurrency investors. Reports by Business Standard suggest over 19 million Indian invest in crypto, indicating a strong underlying interest but is still in the current business landscape, the future remains uncertain. Due to the lack of the official data of cryptocurrency, asset under management and the absence of regulated crypto funds within the Association of Mutual Funds of India Framework, it is impossible to quantify their current contribution. Remember that the cryptocurrency is a high risk investment and it's essential to exercise caution and seek appropriate financial advice. Given list at the end of the reference provided references highlight the current regulatory uncertainty and growing investor interest in India. To know more, refer the cryptocurrency related policy with the daily updates, I suggest to visit Ministry of Finance website. Next is related to the financial literacy and awareness. The contribution to asset under management, while it is a challenging to quantify direct contribution of financial literacy to asset under management in monetary term, its impact and substantial and growing, the Increased awareness and understanding of the financial products have to lead to first is increased mutual fund investment. The asset under management of the mutual fund industry in India grew from rupees 23.8 lakh crores in 2018 to over rupees 46 lakh crores by 2024, a significant portion of which can be attributed to increase awareness and accessibility. The second is related to the growth in the retail participation in the equity market. The number of demet accounts in India have more than doubled between 2020 and 2024, indicating increased retail participation in direct equity investment. The next is related to the expansion of systematic investment plan that is SIP. Monthly SIP contribution have grown from Rs 8000 crore in 2018 to over Rs 15000 crore by 2024, reflecting the growing awareness about the disciplined investing. The next is increased penetration of insurance product. The life insurance penetration in India has increased with a total premium collected growing at the CGAR of about 10% between 
2018 and 2024. Financial literacy and awareness play a crucial role in influencing the asset under management in India, although it is not a direct investment itself. Hear how it contributes. That is the indirect but significant impact. The first is informed investment decision. Financial literate individuals are more likely to make informed investment decision, leading them to invest in suitable financial products like mutual funds, ETF or pension plan. This can contribute to higher asset under management across the financial sector. The next is risk management. The financial literacy equip individuals with the knowledge to manage risk effectively. This can lead to them to diversify their portfolio across different asset classes, potentially increasing overall asset under management within the financial system. Long-term growth. By understanding the benefits of long-term investment and compound interest, financially literate individuals are more likely to invest consistently, contributing to growing asset under management over time. Now, let us see what are the options available. The first is financial literacy level. An empirical analysis found that 33% of the rural and 29% of the urban population lack basic financial services like bank accounts, credit, debit cards, or e-wallet. States like Assam, Bihar, Manipur, Nagaland, and Uttar Pradesh need to catch up with the national average in terms of the financial literacy. The next is the importance of financial literacy. The financially educated individuals make informed decisions positively impacting the overall economy. The depth of the domestic financial market enables efficient capital mobilizing and sound financial choice. The last is initiative and efforts, that is, regulatory bodies like RBI, SEBI, IRDA, and PFRDA focuses on the financial inclusion and spreading awareness among small businesses. Besides, prioritizing the financial literacy empower individuals and contribute to a secure and prosperous future. We have seen in previous slide how much has been invested in various ways for sustainable investment in ESG. Now let us look what is the future of ESG investing in India? CB's introduction to BRSR mandates providing regulatory framework for listed companies to prioritize sustainably and the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal, that is SDG, that is serving as a benchmark for measuring companies' attractiveness and capital raising capacity. The report also notes that 2011 marked an important year for ESG and sustainability initiatives in India. It also highlights that governance within Indian corporation is receiving increased scrutiny from stakeholders with an increasing institutional push for compliance and am among listed companies. Analysis reveals a negative correlation between the corporate governance score of S&P BSE listed companies and stock beta, suggesting that companies with a higher governance score tends to experience lower stock price. So the future of ESG investing lies with the following estimate. Avendus Capital, a leading investment bank in India, has published a report stating that ESG factors are set to play a key role in the decision-making process of the Indian equity capital market. The report forecasts that ESG could represent approximately 34% of the total domestic asset under management by 2051. This increase is anticipated to be driven by sector focused on ESG such as renewable energy, electric vehicle, green hydrogen and climate technology. The report suggests that the growth of ESG oriented asset under management in India over the next 5 to 10 years could mirror the Asia Pacific region ESG growth rate of around 30% eventually stabilizing to 15 to 20% by 2051. Furthermore, a significant portion of this growth will come from the reclassification of existing assets 
into the ESG categories, particularly in firms that are proactively incorporating ESG principles into their operations. This trend is expected to be predominantly observed in three major sectors banking, financial services, insurance, information technology, and healthcare. Accounting for 35 to 40 percent of the India ESG oriented business market share. The push behind ESG investment in India is being driven by three main factors. India's commitment to achieving its 270 net zero target, which is projected to necessitate around 8 to 10 trillion US dollars in capital expenditure over the next five decades. Overall, while concluding, I would like to draw attention of the viewers for the expanding ESG model in India reflects a strong path driven by the regulatory, corporate governance scrutiny and strategic alignment with the global sustainability goals. As ESG factors are increasingly determining investment decision, the expected growth in ESG oriented asset under management aligned with India's commitment for a greener future. The ongoing trend supported by strategic sectors and regulatory framework position ESG investment as a strong force in upgrading India's financial ecosystem contributing to more sustainable and resilient economy for the year ahead. In today's presentation, we have emphasized the significant potential of ESG investment for asset under management, which is already growing by billions of dollars and may reach trillion in the future for India. This growth is likely due to anticipated liberal policies from regulatory bodies and increasing long-term interest among Indian investors. Next week, we will examine how major entities are responding to ESG investment opportunity. We invite you to join us as we explore Indian corporate investment in ESG for asset under management. Until then, take care and best wishes for the day.